Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, in a mixture of 20 liters, the ratio of milk to water is 2 is to 1. If the ratio of milk to water is to be 1 is to 2, what amount of water is to be further added? So we are having a 20 liters mixture of milk and water and the ratio of milk to water is given as 2 is to 1. So for every 2 parts of milk, there will be 1 part of water. Now we want to change this ratio to 1 is to 2. So the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to be converted to the ratio of 1 is to 2. So that is the question here. For that how much water is to be further added. Okay so here we can apply the rule of allegation. So the rule of allegation says that when x and y are combined together to form z then the proportion of x is to y is given as the difference between y and z is to the difference between x and z. x by y, the proportion of x is to y will be given as the difference between y and z is to the difference between x and z. This is representing the difference. It should be positive quantity. Therefore, this, we are taking the difference of y and z and we are taking the difference of x and z respectively. And all these x y and z should represent the same thing. So that is the main thing to note while using the rule of allegation. So here also we want to find out the ratio. What is the ratio of milk to water? What, what is the amount of water to be further added? Ratio is given. So we can use the rule of allegation here. So how to apply the rule of allegation? So let's take the quantity of water. So the quantity of water in the first mixture is 1 by 3. The ratio is given as 2 is to 1. Therefore, the quantity of water will be 1 divided by 3. So, 1 by 3 is the quantity of water in the first mixture. And we are going to further add water. So, how much water will be added? We are going to add water only. So, water only means it will be having only water. There will not be any milk present. So, we are going to add actually 3 by 3 or we can simply write it as 1 for simplicity I am writing it as 3 by 3. So 3 by 3 amount of water is to be added to the 1 by 3 amount of water in the first mixture and the resultant will be 2 by 3. The ratio is given as 1 is to 2. Milk to water ratio is 1 is to 2 therefore the quantity of water will be 2 by 3. So now we can apply the rule of allegation and uh, we already know this is 20 liters. Let this be x. So we want to find out x. So by applying the rule of allegation, the difference between 3 by 3 and 2 by 3 is 1 by 3. And the difference between 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 is 1 by 3. So the ratio will be 1 is to 1. So that means x is equal to 20 liters. So that is our answer. 20 liters of water is to be added so as to convert the ratio of milk to water from 2 is to 1 to 1 is to 2. Ok, now let's see another example. Zinc and copper are in the ratio of 5 is to 3 in 240 gram of an alloy. How much grams of copper be added to make the ratio as 3 is to 5? So we know that alloy is a combination of metals. So here an alloy is there, 240 gram of an alloy. It is consisting of zinc and copper in the ratio of 5 is to 3. So this ratio of 5 is to 3 is to be converted to 3 is to 5. So how much copper should be added so that the ratio changes from 5 is to 3 to 3 is to 5. So that is our question. So again we can apply the rule of allegation here. So copper is to be added. So we have to take the quantity of copper in the mixture. So what is the quantity of copper in the mixture? It is 3 by 8. So we know that uh, the ratio is given as 5 is to 3. Therefore the quantity of copper will be 3 divided by 5 plus 3 that is 3 divided by 8. And copper is getting added. So how much parts of copper is to be added? One part of copper is to be added. Only copper is added, nothing else is added. Pure copper is going to be added in order to convert the ratio. Therefore we can write 8 by 8. For simplicity we are writing 8 by 8. It is equal to 1. So 8 by 8 parts of copper is getting added. 
and we are getting the final ratio as 3 is to 5. Therefore, the quantity of copper will be 5 divided by 8. So, here we are having ratio as 3 is to 5. Therefore, the copper will be 5 divided by 3 plus 5, that is 5 by 8. So, what is our answer? The difference between 5 by 8 and 8 by 8 is 3 by 8. The difference between 5 by 8 and 3 by 8 is 2 by 8. Therefore, our required ratio is 3 is to 2. We already know the quantity here is 240 gram. It is given 240 gram of the alloy. We want to find out the quantity of copper that is getting added. So, let it be x. So, we are having 240 divided by x is equal to 3 by 2. The ratio we found out by the rule of allegation. So, we will be having, we can find out x. x will be equal to 160 grams. Okay, let's see the final example. 50 liters of a mixture has spirit and water in the ratio 2 is to 3. How much water be added to get spirit to water ratio of 3 is to 7 in the resulting mixture? The same kind of question. So, we will be having 15 liters of a mixture and the ratio of spirit and water is given as 2 is to 3 and water is to be further added so that the ratio changes to 3 is to 7. So, 2 is to 3 is to be converted to 3 is to 7 and water is getting added. So, we can write the rule of allegation as the quantity of water in the first mixture is given as 3 by 5. So, here we are having the ratio as 2 is to 3. Therefore, the quantity of water will be equal to 3 divided by 2 plus 3 that is 3 by 5. So, it is getting added with water. So, the amount of water is to be added is 1. So, for easiness we are writing it as 5 by 5. The 5 by 5 amount of water is getting added. And in the final mixture, the quantity of water will be given as 7 by 10. The ratio is given as 3 is to 7. Therefore, the quantity of water will be 7 divided by 3 plus 7, that is 7 by 10. So, we will be getting the difference between 7 by 10 and 5 by 5 is 3 by 10. The difference between 7 by 10 and 3 by 5 is 1 by 10. So, our required ratio is 3 is to 1. And we already know here the quantity is given as 15 liters. The quantity of mixture is 15 liters and the amount of water that is to be added be x liters. So, we will be getting x as 15 by x is equal to 3 by 1. Therefore, x is equal to 5 liters. So, 5 liters of water is to be added to the mixture to convert the ratio from 2 is to 3 to 3 is to 7. Thank you for watching.